Hello, do you like speed? If you do, then this next video is gonna fit you well. This is Rafael Moura again, and then this in the coming minutes we're gonna use the our cross plotted plugin in order to do some analysis of velocities on multiple wells and constrain the analysis by well tops. Let's have a look in the workflow. Here's the patrol. First thing we need is we're gonna use our check shot data in order to create some logs that will be used in our investigation. How to do that? If I want to create those logs for all my wells, I can go to Wells in Patrol, double click, look for the tab called Time, mm -hmm. then we're going to create new logs. I'm going to call them One Way Time Rafa. Make sure that you select the check shot points, the right ones. Mm -hmm. Hit the Run button. Creole has not, Patrol has now created logs called one way time Rafa. And I also want to create logs with the average velocity from the check shots. How do we do that? Find your check shots in the input tree, expand the attributes, do a mouse button tree on the column that you would like to create a log, and you say convert to log. And if you look to the bottom of the input tree, you're going to find here the new average logs and also the one-way time Rafa log. In order to use the cross plotter we need to create an investigator investigation so go to insert new blueback GDI investigation this window will pop up under the data tab you'll find the add data icon let's select the add data we're working with wells select the wells on the bottom, we can select which wells we would like to do make this analysis to. I'm going to make the analysis for all the B wells and also all the C wells. And each dimension will represent one of our logs. So we need the first dimension can be one-way time Rafa. And I can make a search here by Rafa. And I find one-way time Rafa, the log that we've just created. I can add a dimension would be depth and that's the right icon to select this dimension i add depth i'll also add our average velocity log so if i type in here average that's the one we have created from the check shot i hit the ok button and now we're going to look into the input tree into this new investigation all the way to the bottom of the input tree you find investigation and in order to display the cross plots, go, go to Window. Let's uh, start with a scatter plot window. Select your investigation. Now we can see depth with one way time. We can toggle on the legend by clicking on this icon here. It's a folder of wells. Let's give the color well by well. Do a mouse button tree inside the data points. And you can select color by children. And now, if we want to constrain our, uh, our analysis by well tops, you can go back to investigation, input tree, double click on the investigation. And in the, under the data tab, you can select a region of interest. For example, top, I will select my BCU. And if you keep an eye under the approximate the number of points of investigation, if I now select a base to be top NAS, it reduced the number of points and if I hit OK you see the investigation reduces and if you would like to fit an equation to this I can do a add equation a y equation for example it can be a dynamic one so I say add a linear fit the equation is displayed on our left if I want to display the equation let Let's give the color black. Go back to the investigation, double click. Look for the equation tab. Instead of yellow, I'll look for black. I'll have a thickness of four. And I also want to display the equation in the graph. I hit the OK. Now I can see my equation here. And since it's a dynamic one, I can also apply a filter by add selection. That's the icon filter 
I select a polygon filter for example and I just I'm going to ignore some of the wells I want to use those points here and we're going to see that by double clicking I close my filter and my equation will change automatically following our changes so if I move this filter around keep an eye on the equation the equation follows once you're happy with your equations and you want to save this save them as petrol function look for this icon here control equations by clicking on it you see all the equations displayed and now we can do a mouse button 3 or right mouse button and save as a petrol function this function will now appear on the bottom of your input tree okay this is what we wanted to show on this video Thanks for watching. Please send more questions for us under those channels. Thank you. Goodbye.